All right, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're gonna be watching The Boys Season 3, Episode 2. Now, in the last episode, uh, a, lot, a lot went down in the last episode. A lot went down. So, they started making temporary Compound B. Basically, so Stan Edgar can kind of just sell it to the military. You know, it's only temporary, so they just gotta keep rebuying it and rebuying it, you know. He's gonna make a fuck ton of money off that, and he wants to take Vought and turn it into a pharmaceutical company and not a superhero company because he's like, fuck the soup business, that's all bullshit, fuck everything that deals with that. Pharmaceutical, though, that's where the money's at, okay? Smart play, smart play. So he said he plans out within five years, which, okay, I mean, shit, I... I mean, he's making moves, bro, he's making moves. But, okay, so Queen Maeve, she is working with Butcher, to help stop Homelander because we're just like, fuck this guy. He's such a piece of shit. And so she gave Butcher, and so she told Butcher about Soldier Boy, you know? So I'm assuming in this episode, he's probably gonna go try and find him or whatever, but she gave him doses of Compound V, of the temporary one. And she was like, you might need these. You know, the people, he's very powerful and the people he's with are very powerful. So you might need these. You know, and then Butcher was at like his apartment, I guess. And like he was about to drain, he was about to just throw them down the drain, you know. He's like, ah, I don't fuck this, I don't need it. And then he put him in the cookie jar, right? And then Homelander came and visited him, right? Now at first I thought they actually had a conversation, but then shout out Sam on Patreon, he said that that conversation never happened. So I mean, it was kind of like weird how like after Butcher's talking, Homelander doesn't say anything, and then there's just a wide shot of him of no one there right and it's like okay yeah that implies homelander was never there but i thought he just i thought homelander just fucking dipped hella fast because he can do that you know i thought he pulled like a batman on him you know where like you look away and he's just gone but i guess that implies that conversation never really happened so okay interesting i guess i was just butcher kind of rationalizing shit do i need this do i need the compound v do i need it you know which i think he'll probably end up taking so yeah, I'm curious to see how that goes for Butcher. Uh, Starlight became co-captain of the Seven. That's like Stan's way of saying, yeah, fuck you to Homelander. Get out of here. You're weak. You know, like, get out of here. We don't need you anymore, you know? So he's pushing Homelander out of here, and Homelander hates it. You know, he hates it. And that's what he talked to a Butcher about, too. So that's why I thought that conversation was, like, somewhat real. I thought he was venting to him. But, again, like, I guess that conversation never happened, so... And then at the very end of the episode, Huey found... He found Senator Newman, right? She, like... She was walking to this alleyway, and like that dude who dude who kept asking to see her, you know, was like following her. So he was like, "Oh, let me go check this out," you know. And then she ended up killing him using her power because, well, they're both soups, and they got into like a little fight. He brought up the fact that like, yeah, we used to have a past life, something like that, you know. And obviously that would probably get in the way of what she's doing now. So, you know, she just she had to kill him right there, and he he saw all of it. He saw it all. So I wonder, I'm kind of curious to see what's gonna happen with Huey now. You know, and then like Huey and Starlight, their relationship's kind of kind of rocky, honestly. They're kind of kind of fighting. Huey said some uh, hurtful things to her because he's jealous of that guy, Supersonic. So I think they're gonna break up because of that. And my prediction mid episode was, oh, so Huey and Starlight are gonna start drifting away. Starlight's gonna start, you know, just messing with Supersonic. Huey's gonna start messing with Newman, and then Huey's gonna realize what who Newman is and like what she's really doing and all that but i guess like this the ending kind of doesn't really allow that maybe maybe not me uh does huey press her about her superpower who knows we'll just see but anyways i'm gonna stop wasting time we're just gonna hop right into this episode if you'd like to watch the full length reaction that'll be available on patreon as well early access to the next two episodes of the boys will also be available on patreon so let's get started all right fun fact i got a new wire for my braces today right and you know when they first put them in it like it didn't feel too bad and then like a couple hours went by whatever they didn't really hurt like they don't even hurt right now but then like i went to go take a bite of a chip just a chip just a small chip i took that bite like i normally would and my entire body just shut down like my body literally just went into shock because how fucking bad it hurt <sighs> if you've ever had braces you know if you know, you know. It's fucking horrible. But also, fun fact, um, I might be getting them off in six weeks, which is gonna be, pre which would be pretty damn nice. So fingers crossed. Maybe, maybe not. We'll see. Not if you were putting the church first, oh, before no. your career, what? before. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's, this is his book. 
This is the deepest book on what happened. Have become a toxic personality, dear. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Boys, but to run. God. I love it when they they play themselves within the show and like a movie or something. They're so they're so bad at acting. With whenever they play themselves in a movie within the show, it's fucking hilarious. Do it, pussy. Do it. Do it. Hey, uh, William. That look. You really gonna shoot that shit in your veins? I don't think you're gonna do it. Ed, you won't do it, pussy. <gasps> He's doing it. Please, Aww. Rebecca. Is this is Lenny. Rebecca don't care what I do. Is that Lenny? She's dead. <gasps> Did he actually do it, or was that just all in his head? Because, like, obviously the people on the TV weren't actually talking to him. Said I could call you after 8, and say 8.03. Aww. Sleep so good. Yeah, look, I told you, I'll watch it later. Damn, bro. Ah. <sighs> yeah, Butcher... Butcher's gonna give Ryan some tough love, and... It's gonna be hard for Ryan at first, but I think that's what he needs. I mean, not, like, Homelander tough love. I mean, like... Right there, he kind of just, like, he's not mad at Ryan, he's just, like, stressed. But that's just Butcher's personality that, like, kind of replies like that just to anyone, so. Damn, this bitch is a vegetable. Good. Cool, I, I saw that tear. I don't feel bad. She deserves this. I don't know, maybe when she killed Rainer, or when she blew up. Ah! All right, so he's telling Starlight about it. We, we have an all-hands-at-three. I've never missed one before. Yeah, I have to go in the work like nothing ever happened. Oops, sidekick for a year? Yeah. Oh, Christ, he's never going to not torture me for this, is he? Well, yeah. maybe he won't. Like, if you don't go in the work, it might seem kind of sus. So you have to go in like it, you don't know what happened. But knowing Huey, the way he's going to interact with her now is like just going to be... It's going to be completely off how he normally has. Prior, and she's gonna know based off that. Thank you. Uh -huh. Woo! Still got it. It's like you're back on the sweet as I want. Bitch. Sir, happy birthday. I'm supersonic, right? Yeah, that's right. Of course, it doesn't hurt that the show's judge used to get cum drunk on your chorizo picante. Homelander, <laughs> sir, we're loading the prompter with Charlotte's revision. Sure. Bro, he's in shock that he fucking said that. But now, honestly, I am just so excited about what's coming. <laughs> you and your dad can build it together. Mm. 523 pieces of family fun. <laughs> Give a mother effing doodle how he checked out. Ah, bollocks. <laughs> Old wager, he went out on his knees begging like a right cunt. What the f? Yeah, don't say that over my daughter. Wait, is Soldier Boy more powerful than Homelander or something? It's like if it can kill him, it can kill Homelander for sure. Like, they're talking about it like Soldier Boy's more powerful. Boy, you could close the book on him once and for all. Mm. If we are dead. Thanks for coming by. I don't blame him. MM's right. Just hold on a second. I might have one thing. Ah. Uh, I mean, we saw it in MM's closet. Like, he still has all those. He's still chasing everything. He's still working on it just by himself. Yeah, so M.M., he still wants to catch... He wants to catch Soldier Boy. Because... I don't know, the way Butcher kind of ta was talking to him, it seems like... You know... Something happened with him in the past. And M.M. wants to... Win this, I guess. We're here with a donut for a bun. Oh, that's a lit. Surely there is no gut here. Oh, she sees the brother and sister having a good time together and makes her reminds her of her brother. He defended us against the encroaching red menace. Congressman, I made his sacrifice all the more noble. Mm. Bro, he's literally Captain America. He made his sacrifice all the more noble when he gave his life, saving us from a nuclear holocaust. Oh yeah, he's not dead. He's not dead. No, no. Even even if I didn't know about him prior, I would still think he's not dead. Next. 
<laughs> wow. Do you like that in real life, though? <laughs> you know that chimps are physically incapable of crying. Oh. But that doesn't mean they're not crying on the inside. Bro, what is this? Oh! Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, don't let her hands touch! Yeah, I can't. That's her power, whatever she did. No fireball if your hands don't touch. Not fireball, okay. We wanna know about Soldier Boy. What the? Not the melt you've been giving us, senor. Talk! The show is the truth, motherfucker! He died a hero! Oh, no, 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 no! Bro, was that a mascot that somebody was in? Oh. Oh, that's tough. Oh, yep, and she sees the family affected by it, and... I can't cry. Yeah, there's a person that... Damn. R.I.P. Bro, that was just some fucking 22-year-old kid. Making like 15 bucks an hour to stand in that costume all day and just, just be there. It's tough. Huey, man. man. you okay? A Alex? Oh, no, no, no. He answered Starlight's phone. Danny? She's actually on stage with Homelander. It's a crazy fucking day, man. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so glad that you're, you're there with her. Um... <laughs> I, my dear friend and mentor, Homelander. <laughs> now... She had to pause before saying that. I'm supposed to be announcing the Starlight House. You sing me happy birthday. Um, fuck off, dude. Yeah, I saw a happy birthday to a very special boy, and I was like, what? Um, Starlight. <laughs> Bro. Listen, Starlight, I, I, I... <sighs> Shut the fuck up. <laughs> it's gotta fit with the routine. I, actually, show her the routine. Uh, Homelander just wants everything to be about him. That's your backup. Bro, I'm not, I'm not on tour right now. What are we, what? Like this, I'm not doing a fucking concert for you to sing you happy birthday. What do we do, what? Meaning to sing your friend happy birthday? Are you gonna sing all sexy for me on my birthday? Yeah. Yes, go. Thank you. Such a diva. Ready, let's hit it. If Starlight doesn't want to sing, mm -hmm. she doesn't sing. Yep. That that means that she could call her own shots, don't you? Yeah. So how about I just walk, Stan? How would that rate? After the PR. All right, later. You're lucky we're putting on this farce at all. But yeah. Hey, it's your party. You can cry if you want. Uh -huh. Yeah, Stan doesn't give a fuck if Homelander leaves. He has no. Homelander has absolutely no leverage. And he hates it. And that's what pisses off. That's what pisses him off. Started making waves. Mm-hmm. Hi, I'm also Ashley. Oh, great. Are you calm or are you a fucking psychotic like her? We thought a rebranding of A-Train maybe could change that. Okay. Okay. Is that a video game about the slave trade? Oh. I buy it in the room. She hated it. What? She said it was well told. Yeah, that's code for she fucking hated it. Look. You don't have a fucking dick. That's uncalled for. You don't gotta do him like that. He's a great guy. I like him a lot. I don't know what kind of a home we are, right? Yeah. No, of course, it's a group mm -hmm. home. Oh, for soups. Uh, super able. Super able. <laughs> Little treasures. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, fuck supervising all these kids. That would be a nightmare. Control them. But uh, listen, I'm, I'm sure you'd be perfectly safe. Uh, that's why she has a cast on her fucking leg, too. Like, these kids probably did some shit to her. Sorry, what, uh, what is it, Teddy? Oh, no. The TV. Wait a minute. I know you. No, you don't. Boyfriend? Nope. Uh, and you work at the Bureau. Nah. I keep it about love and not publicity. You know? She doesn't buy that shit. This is fantastic. With the superhuman mother. The mm, oh. Sorry. <clears throat> is there anything? Oh, Huey. Yeah, if he wants to know about Nadia. Oh. 
adopting me. Oh, I can't adopt you, Sport. Not technically. Yeah, but... it's more complicated. Ah, he just found out. Mm -hmm. Is that alright? It... Fuck, Huey knows now. There goes their fucking chance of a romantic storyline. <laughs> Australia. You want me to read it again? Oh wow, she's like okay. So he adopted her as like a as a child then too. So he raised her too. We'll deal with them the same way you dealt with Tony. Of course, Butcher has something, bro. <laughs> nice piece. Welcome. Oh okay. Oh, okay, he's at a firearm place. Okay. What's well, nice meeting you, buddy? You must have been chuffed, though. Yeah, you said too much. You've asked too many questions. She on the bog, stick his finger up your bum a bit, give him mm. a sloppy little nosh. Till now, mm. I quote, soldier boy's habitual abuse. Mm. Oh, shit. Oh, that's him. He's trying to kill Butcher. Oh, no. Yep, it's him. Fucking dumbass name like gunpowder. Ah, oh, I got a butcher. It's dumbass name gunpowder or some shit like that. Oh no, yeah, I'm just gonna ricochet it. Bull, okay, bullshit. Bullshit. <gasps> Graze them. Yep, good thinking. Damn, butcher looked kind of like worried there. Like he might. I kind of seemed like he was about to lose until he fired off all the shot the headlights. No, who is this? For my annual birthday save. Oh. The hell for all eternity, do you? I'm Jewish. <laughs> all right. Well, regardless, just step back. <sighs> no, whoa, 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 whoa. I'm here now. If you jump, I'm just going to fly down and save you anyway. Yeah, exactly. He'll just catch her. No, no, what is, no, what is it? What is it? What is it? <gasps> Stormfront suicide. Good. Fuck that bitch. But she wouldn't. It's, it's my... On his birthday. Yep, and then that girl who's about to jump sees this, and she's just gonna jump now because you probably don't know this because you know, Jew. <laughs> Fucking life. What happens? People just tear you down. Mm. You know what, Chelsea? Don't. I think you should, Joe. Uh, I don't think I want to. Yeah, oh, yeah, no. Why don't you show a little follow through, Chelsea? No, stop, bro. Please, I, I just want to get down. I'm not down. suggesting anymore. Oh. oh, please. Oh, God, oh, God. Oh, I feel bad for Chelsea now. Oh, God. <laughs> the only man in the sky is me. Oh. The fuck did she bite off her own tongue? Oh, damn. A million dollar baby herself. So damn. Oh, oh, she fucking did it. Damn, R.I.P. Chelsea. Fuck Homelander, dude. Bro, just because you feel like fucking dog shit doesn't mean you gotta tell it. Make everyone else feel like dog shit. And make them do shit like that. Oh, no. Oh, okay, it's just a pan. It's just a pot. Okay. Bro, you don't you don't gotta do all this. It's a little too much. A little too much. I'm sorry. Yeah, now she's afraid of you, bro. No. Oh. He needs that hug. You know, Homelander is such a fucking narcissist. Stormfront kills herself, and then he makes it about himself. Like, I mean, like, I'm happy she did. Like, fuck that bitch. But, like, still, like, obviously he loved her, and it's just, like, it's just about him. It's like, it's, she did that on my birthday. I can't believe it. Oh, my God. And then he was so pissed. He told that girl to jump off the building. It's like, bro. Oh, shit. Yeah, no, there was, there was a guy, um, and he... <laughs> He was looking at your picture. He said your name was Nadia. Said he knew you. Yeah, I would tell. Yeah, I would tell her this. I, I, I mean, you're missing work. Your hand. There's a lot going on. I don't know. He was gonna fall. There's something I should know. Nah, uh, no. No. 
Mm. Check up on me. Well, I was worried about it's, you. Yeah, well, you know I can handle. She knows this is so fake. She knows they're capping so hard right now. It's actually, none of my business. So I'm just. I'm gonna go. Yeah. Well, she she knows that was calf. Yeah. Cut her some slack. Yeah. You shouldn't be afraid of a powerful woman. Ah. Fuck. She knows we know. And like that was her just tell letting us know. Hey, I know you know. I'm off at Red River. I thought we were gonna handle that together. I know. Yeah. I'm sorry. So you guys, they're, they're splitting up. Touchables. I thought things were finally, finally going my way. Yep. Oh, um, I may have signed us up to adopt a child. <laughs> Our fucking face. Uh, morning, Marvin's here. Are you gonna stay for Homelander's birthday special? Fuck no. I think I'll pass. Yeah. Been trying to stay away from all of it. The soups. Can't. It's an addiction. He can't. I tried up in my meds. It's just gonna bother him in his head until he does something about it. He he, he just has to do something. He just has to do something about it. To steal sliver inside of my brain after he after he what you need to go back to butcher yes it will never go away until you went until you finish this face this shit down mm-hmm storm fire was right what the fuck are we doing what are we doing here But she feels so guilty about it because it wasn't her fault she didn't cause it directly but it was just a byproduct of what she was trying to do and it kills her inside because she of course obviously yeah of course she doesn't want that ever it's just okay butcher did get away but he got fucked up yes play the video ryan made for you yes oh it's stop animation yes sorry i'm running late Oh, it's Becca's voice. It always takes longer than I think it will. Oh. But only two, Mister. More than. Oh, it's a mess. Okay, it's a voicemail she left for him, and he made a stop motion out of it. And I'll see you soon. Oh. Butcher needed that. I probably hurt him to hear her voice though. That definitely hurt him. He did. Aww. He's opening up. Newman's a soup. Oh, shit, yeah. Uh, yep. Yeah. Past year of my life has been a waste. Mm-hmm. Thought we could fight about the right way, but we can't. It's all rigged. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Take them down. We have to do whatever it takes. Yeah, whatever it takes. Do it your way. Yep. That's all Butcher needed. <laughs> You gotta be fu- Oh shit, he's back. Oh shit, what the fuck? The fuck? Oh shit. Get a bulb vest on. No, no vest? Oh, he took the V, he took the V. He fucking did it. He fucking took it. Oh, buddy's waxed, buddy's dead. Ah. Oh. Ah. Uh. Soldier boy used to slap me around a little bit, alright? Oh. He's just hazing the wind. So what fucking happened to him? Didn't die in an accident. Yeah, I knew it. Your meltdown thing. It was just bullshit. Yeah, no shit, it's bullshit. Put him. I don't know. Grace. Mm, okay. Grace, Grace Mallory. Mallory, goddammit. it. What you are. Mm hmm. Ah, oh, we're just gonna kill him. Bro, Butcher's fucking... OD as hell with this V, bro. We gotta... Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. He's taking on Homelander. Easy. Except... Oh, shit. Oh, shit. I feel like... Yeah, that's new for him. That's new. He didn't even know he could do that. It just happened. Uh, oh, oh. Damn. 
All right, yeah, he's taking on Homelander. Easy. We don't need to find out. We don't need the same shit that killed Soldier Boy. We just butcher after him. It's just a matter of can we kill him before the 24 hours expires? Like Butcher's a maniac, bro. Whatever, he, whatever advantage Homelander may have, whatever physical advantage Homelander may have, Butcher makes up for it by just being a fucking maniac. This new costume. Yeah. The fuck is he wearing? This new costume. I can see you, girl, you disgusting fat fuck. Ah. To helping homeless and at-risk youth. Hey, Homelander, you're not. She died. Ooh. Oh, yeah. He's just gonna keep hearing shit like that forever, and it's gonna drive him insane. He's gonna. He, he already is insane. He's gonna. He's gonna tweak and just kill a civilian watch. Dollars to the Starlight House, which no. I mean, get no. no, 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 no. Oh shit! She did. I don't make mistakes. I'm not just like the rest of you. Oh my god, bro! I'm stronger. I'm smarter. I'm better. Shut the fuck up. Shut <laughs> Oh, Stan hates this. Stan hates this. Ashley's gonna do it. Oh, yeah. Roger, Ashley. Go to fucking commercial. Don't you dare stop rolling, Roger. Oh, shit. Yeah, he could hear her. Oh, her hair. Her fucking... Muzzle me. Cancel me. Keep oh, me no. It's, it's inspiring him. Fucking puppet. No. Apologizing. I am done being persecuted for my strength. You're done? All right, then leave the seven. Leave. You need me to save you. You do? No, we don't. I mean, we can I can We could get by without you, but it wouldn't be as easy. Technically. I'm the real hero. Alright, well that was episode two of season three. Home or fucking tweaking right there. <sighs> Alright, so that was the boys, season three, episode two. Alright. So Butcher did it. He took the compound V, the temporary V. He beat the shit out of gunpowder or powder, whatever the fuck his dumbass name is, whatever the fuck. He got the information he needed and he fucking killed him. So, is what it is. I like this Butcher. I like this. Butcher's, bro, Butcher could take Homelander by himself. Like, like I said, Butcher's just a fucking maniac, dude. Whatever physical advantage Homelander might have, Butcher makes up for it just by being a maniac. All right. I got Butcher. We don't need to go and find whatever killed Soldier Boy to kill Homelander. No, we have enough. We got enough. You can never be too safe. You never be too sure, honestly. But at the end right there with Homelander, yeah, he's desperate for the attention. He wants all the attention to be on him. He's tired of being pushed aside. For Stan's pushing him out. Stan's trying to get him out of here. And he's just like, nah, bro, nah. You know, he wants to stay, but he doesn't want to be treated like shit, obviously. Whatever, so that speech at the end right there, he just went off on everyone. And it seemed like it was inspiring. You know, the other dude that Mother's, Mother's Milk's ex-girlfriend is seeing, I, the stepfather, whatever the fuck his name is, it seemed to inspire people like that. So I think, okay, I think for some people, like some people are gonna receive Homelander's message very well. And it's not going to be the worst thing ever to happen to Homelander. It's going to work. It's actually going to work out pretty well for him, I feel like. So, because I mean, like, dude, most of the time in the show, whenever like a character does something fucking wild, it's per it's usually well received by the public. So, you know, because they're being real or like whatever, you know, and authentic. So one line that stuck out to me a lot was when Homelander was on the roof with that girl and he was like, there's no God. The only God in the sky is me. That's fucking terrifying to hear. That is fucking terrifying. I feel so bad for that girl. Like, she was up there to jump off originally, but then, you know, after seeing, like, Homelander kind of break down in front of her, she was like, yeah, you know, I'm okay. Like, I'm good. I'm, I've changed my mind. You know, but then he was literally telling her to jump. Like, no, you do it. Honestly, I th I'd rather die by Homelander than jump off. I mean, like, they're both pretty quick deaths, I guess. 
But like still, like I, I wouldn't know what to do. I'd probably just freeze in like fear and not knowing what to do in that situation and just wait for him to kill me. And then, you know, when they saw that Stormfront, like she committed suicide, of course, Homelander, he was, I, he wasn't like pissed at the fact that she did it. He was just pissed at like, oh, she did it on my birthday whatever just a fucking like a fucking narcissist that's all that's all that crosses my like oh how could she do this to me on my birthday <laughs> even if she was a good solid character like a good person he still probably would have had the same exact reaction so it's like it just shows you and then Huey found out the truth about Nadia or like Newman and yeah he told Butcher about it and Butcher was like it kind of sparked his motivation again and Butcher he honestly looked defeated after the first encounter with gunpowder or whatever the fuck his name is he looked defeated like he lost you know he barely made it out and then Huey told him that and he's like all right bet oh and they also adopted a kid so cool but yeah that was the boys season three episode two comment down below what you thought about this episode down below in the comments and if you liked the video like the video and thanks for watching